Well, the inspiration my father has had on my life, that's an interesting question. Pretty massive, really. My mum and my dad have been very big influences in my life. You know, my dad's a pretty tough dad, and he's taught me the ropes of the world through being really tough, and that it's never handed to you and that you have to get things done properly, and you've got you've to you've know what you're doing and you've got to work at it. If you've got someone like my father that's done so well for so many years, you, you start to realise that it's less about the work and it's about the drive and it's about how dedicated to that you are. That there are people that care and love about what they're doing and they're putting their own personal um, touch and their own personal feelings into a wine, whereas with an artist they're doing the same thing. You know, I think seeing my dad do as well as he has has been one of the biggest has been one of the biggest kind of drives for me. It's so hard to be successful in the art world. It's a really tricky game to be part of because it's so political and it's so um, it has so many ebbs and flows about what's in, what's not. You know, it sort of follows design trends. Things that my dad that he's made in his career that really kind of get me going are that he just loves objects. He loves the history of objects. You know, my dad loves all of that militaria stuff from World War II. And I think the thing is that they tell stories, is that objects tell stories. And that's why, why I'm a sculptor is that I, I mean, I just love the stories of the weathering on objects. You either love looking at things with your eyes or you don't. And if your father does a lot of looking, you end up doing a lot of looking. Well, there's that lovely story about Colin, all these techniques from California that he brought it back, back to use in Australia. It's, again, it's a beautiful story of someone already having almost a knowledge of that in the back of your mind so that when you're going through parts of your life, you're picking up bits and pieces from it and putting it into your own process. My father, he does 2D so well, that's why I do 3D. But that's not why, it's that I love to look around an object. You know, and you might have the same correlations with the son of a winemaker, you might want to round out the flavours. 